This is information. Again, HTML is for structure and CSS is for presentation. In other words, style. There are three ways to apply your CSS to your HTML. Inline, internal, and external. For inline styling, the style tag is plopped right into the HTML, like so. Best practice is not to do this, so we will avoid this whenever possible. You will see inline styling in lots of professionally coded websites and such, so just know it's still out there. For internal, also known as embedded styling, the style tag is placed in the head element like so. This is still not the most preferred way to go, so for external, the CSS is written in a completely different document and linked from the HTML document. Let's start a new file, save as styles.css, and then write a link to it in the head element of our HTML file. I like to use a separate folder for CSS files inside my main website folder. We add our styling to our new CSS file, and here it is. Our web page has externally linked CSS. So just like HTML has tags, CSS has selectors. And for this video, our CSS selectors are just the names of our HTML tags. We have a selector, then we have a property, in this case font color, and then we have values. So red for paragraphs, blue for links. You can use pixels, points, m's, percentages, and so on in your CSS. Colors. Remember that there are all sorts of ways to write color. We can use predefined color names, RGB values with numbers, RGB values with percentages, hex values, and many more. Text. Remember that there are all sorts of options for styling your text. For example, there are font family to specify the font itself. Remember if it is more than one word, the whole thing goes in quotes. Font size, now you can use those units we just talked about. Font weight, which commonly has values of bold or normal, but can also use bolder or lighter, or numbers like 400 instead of normal, and multiples of 100 up or down from there. Font style, which can be normal or italic, which is sort of presented the same as M tag, but we'll discuss this in a later video. Text decoration, where you can do underlines, or cool strike throughs called line throughs. Text transform, where you can capitalize first letters, or uppercase or lowercase text. Text spacing, where you can letter space, word space, line height, and text align. Text align we'll get into more as the semester goes on. Margins and paddings will get more attention all semester. Remember now that margins are the space outside something, and padding is the space inside something. If you remember the box model, margins and padding can be applied to any element. Borders have a lot of properties, like border style, solid, dotted, dash, double, and so on, border width, which sets the border width, 
and border color, which you know. So let's see what we get. 